Capricorn. What is going on? Capricorn, it is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of April 2019. I, I just, in my head, I heard November. I don't know. I don't know if it was something that happened last November or something that you could look forward to this November, but I just heard November for some reason. Listen, Shout out to everyone that has uh, like, share, and subscribe. Shout out to all my new subscribers. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm like, all these thoughts are like channeling through my head. I'm trying to like, yeah, I'm multitasking anyway. So um, let me block that out for a second. So listen, if you would like to uh, book a personal reading with Scorpion Reds Tarot, you can do so by clicking the About tab. All right, there's a hyperlink that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. That is my booking information on the About page. All right, if you would like to give a love donation, if this video resonates with you, and if you would like to just give a dollar or two or three, doesn't matter. Um, all of it is greatly appreciated. As you can see, this Tower of Dex has grown greatly because of y'all's love and affection to the page, and I greatly appreciate it. So if you want to, you know, send some love to the page, you can do so. The PayPal is in the description. Let's get into... Let's get into the energy. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Capricorn. I don't know why I heard um, November in my head. If you can make that make sense to me, that would be great. Um, thank you so much for showering blessings upon the sign of Capricorn. Um, I know that we've been going through a lot of trials and tribulations and lessons. I know it's for the better. Thank you so much, Father God, for holding us in, you know, high spirits and being able to navigate and transition through all of these different energies that's been going on, um, especially that retrograde energy. Um, I thank you so much for, you know, bringing things back to us that need to be here, removing things that don't need to be there. Um, please give us further insight, further knowledge. Help us be able to navigate these waters and just be at our best, bestest at all times. Thank you so much, Father God, for all of the blessings and the lessons. Um, and I, I want to say in the return, in the return, I don't know what that means, but in the return, thank you so much, Father God, for all of the blessings and lessons. Please give us guidance for the sign of Capricorn for April 2019. Thank you again. What's going on in November in the return? What, what am, okay. Father, please give me guidance for the sign of Capricorn for April. Thank you so much. I heard my blessings are going to return back to me by August. By August, November. Like it's something that you guys are, are expecting between August and November. Or whatever you lost in November is going to come back to you in August. True offering. Perfectionist. Perfectionism. In true offerings. So it says permission to make mistakes is so freeing. Again, permission to make mistakes is so freeing. It's the root of creativity and change. Allow me, divine, to make as many mistakes as I need. Free me from the prison of perfectionism. Really, Capricorn? <laughs> oh my God, I just needed to laugh at that for a second. Okay, true offering. May I release the fears, illusions, and addictions that keep me from my true offerings. May I relax into your plan, trusting that the next steps will always be shown. Use me, love, use me for the highest. I am yours alone. All right. So it just seems like, you know, Capricorn is saying, look, what what, what the fuck y'all want me? <laughs> like, y'all want me to be something that I'm not? Like, I'm not a perfectionist. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
you guys already know who I am like accept me for who I am and I'm going to make stupid ass mistakes that's just what I do you know and just like to, I'm a fucking crash dummy like that it's just what the fuck it is but that's just the way I learned so either you going to accept me and love me for for me or just leave me the fuck alone because I I I I feel like Capricorn Capricorn already knows this about that self that they just kind of had this kind of crash dummy damn uh mentality where it's just like that's the way that they learn that's the way that they learn how to drive better like crashing up their fucking cars and shit is like my first car i never put no oils or anything in it i just drove it until it died and you know so i destroyed that car my next car i put oil in that time but shit i Fucking, I, I never used my, my mirrors to see and to check what was behind me. So I crashed that car. So I got another car and just, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like with every crash and bump in their life, they just, they, they learn something. And that's just how they learn. And, and with that being said, and them acknowledging that, they're just saying like, God, like, help me to kind of release myself from these addictions and these blockages and these things that I know is not good for me that just allow me to continue, you know, free, free me from the want to feel like I'm a bad person because I make these mistakes. So first off, free me from that, but also free me from making simple mistakes that is just like so fucking dumb. You know what I'm saying? Just free me from so did these negative toxic toxic things so I could really get the true, you know, offerings that is that is coming to me. Like I, I'm not trying to be perfect, but at the same time, it's like I also want to be free from making dumb mistakes as much as I can. You know, if that makes any sense. So y'all following me, y'all get me? It's just that and, and like by no means am I trying to offend anybody that's a Capricorn because I'm a Scorpio. If you think by any means that I don't have like a crash dummy goddamn mentality. I mean, we crash and burn and we to like we'll burn ourselves down and rebirth ourselves anew like a phoenix and we will rise again. You see what I'm saying? We're all about death and transformation. So, you know, trust me, I get it, you know. But at some point, you know, like like you said, you know, may I release the fears, the illusions and addictions that keep me from my true offering, you know. You want to release that. It's like you just like, I already know who I am and what I be doing. I am just who I am. Just accept me and just give me some time to change. I know what I need to do to bring in my true offering. I feel like Capricorn feel like they want to say, I don't want to be judged by you. Like, you're not born to, to, to judge me. Like, truly. This is exactly like, you see how I just said that? Like, who are you to judge me? You're no one to judge me. Like, this is Capricorn, like, being fed up with people's judgment of them and the mistakes that they make and just, like, the dumb shit that they do. They're like, look, I know I do dumb shit. Ever love me and set me for who I am and just leave me the fuck alone? Like, I don't give a fuck anymore. I just really feel like Capricorn is just kind of, like, going off and just, like, look... I can't live my life the way that y'all want me to live and learn the way that y'all want me to learn and do things. Like, look, I'm not your child. You go control your children and you go tell your children how you want them to be. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I feel like Gemini is chasing love. I mean, Gemini. I feel like Capricorn is chasing love possibly from a Gemini. And I feel like it's an addiction. Um, this person that they're dealing with possibly this Gemini like this person is not the the definition of love by any standard you understand what I'm saying it's definitely not the definition of love by any standard but I feel like it's almost an addiction how Capricorn chases behind this unrequited love um this is the ace of earth yeah it's it's like they chase behind this this unrequited love looking for just like a solid new beginning it's just like they chase behind this person it's just like i just want to start over i want to start over i want a new solid beginning i know that we can make this work you know the uh, earth is you know someone being attentive putting time in um taking good 
care of, of, of land and investments and like time, work, effort, commitment. A messenger of fire. All right. So. Might be getting um some messages coming in here. Some, and, that, and that might be the true offering that's coming to you, Capricorn. I just feel like you need to stop. First off, you need to fix your fucking attitude. Number one. <laughs> Number one, you need to fix your fucking attitude because I'm being moved to tell you that you can't go through life making mistakes and doing dumb shit and then you're going to have the audacity to catch an attitude with people because they're fed up with you making dumb ass mistakes. You understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, don't bite the hand that is really trying to support you and just really trying to help you get on the right track. Like, no one is really trying to judge you. They're just really trying to get you to open up your eyes to some of your own toxic behaviors. And we're proud that you're waking up and you're understanding and you're asking God to release yourself from the illusion. The illusion of you running behind, you know, this false love. Like, this person doesn't love you. You have to love yourself, Capricorn. Like, that's truly what it's about. That's truly what it's about. And it's like... You want the true offering that, that's coming to you. And you do have a solid new chance in life. And I do see like you guys might have a, 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 a job offering. Or you might find a way to like start a new business. Or somebody might just be trying to like collaborate with you on a new project at work. That might get y'all a bonus or something like that. Or that just might, that might save something. <clears throat> Or like I said, that, that that will bring that solid environment back to you that you lost last November. Something, you wanting something back. And you want it to be solid and secure. Something that, you want something that come back from you, from the past that you lost in November or something like that. But honestly, it's like I'm feeling like you need to cut out. Like, I feel like you're cussing out the wrong people. You're cussing out the people that you feel like you're being judged by. And you're ready to cut them off at the drop of a dime. But you need to cut off this person that is really that really doesn't love you. You need to focus on who loves you and not who you love. Because if they're not loving you back, then why run around and be a damn fool? And chase the unrequited love. And then cut off and alienate yourself from people that truly have your back and your best interest when then this person truly shows their ass and show you how much they really don't give a fuck about you then you're not gonna have nobody to turn to you see what i'm saying so you got something solid and new coming to you and you're going to get a message about this brand new beginning this brand new solid advancement in life you're going to get a message very soon and it's about the beginning of something solid and new something that's going to be committed and that's going to be faithful and something that is going to be there for the long term so my advice to you is do you really want these true offerings to come to you while you still dealing with people that surround your mind because this is also someone like i said you cussing out the wrong people this is someone who is not able to see things clearly that is in search for a truth that they're not getting and they may be spazzing out and kind of just be a little bit temperamental and just kind of nasty right now you know what i'm saying because it's like you ever been around someone that it's like their home environment is fucked up. So it's like when they come to work, they just like got a badass attitude or something like that. Just very cutting and cold and just too direct. And, you know, just like what the fuck happened to her? You know, it's because she might be at home dealing with someone that she feels is not in love. That she or he feels is not in love with them anymore. And they can't figure out what the truth is, what's going on. And it's just there's no love in their environment. And they're just clouded. Their mind is clouded with an illusion. And at the same time, 
because of the addiction to the situation, they fear letting go of something. And instead of having a clear mind and seeing the people that are trying to help you and cutting out the person that don't love you, you're cutting out people that do love you and making wrong decisions. Got it on a false love. Do you really want to carry that into something brand new? Give me a corn oracle card. If you know deep in your heart, you know, that you need to release these fears and these illusions and these addictions so that you can receive your true offer because it's keeping you from the true offer. Pay attention to who you being sharp at the tongue with, okay? Don't 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 feel like people are trying to judge you. And like maybe people they are trying to judge you. Maybe you do need somebody to judge you and really tell you the truth about shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some people don't want to face their own shit sometimes. And it's not that they don't love you, they do love you. They really do love you, Capricorn. Partnership. Teamwork will give you a better result. Find trustworthy people to partner with. Build up a talented support team. Like I say, partner up and surround yourself. This is not about a relationship partnership. This is about like a soul team, your spiritual team, your ride or die motherfuckers, your people that you know. If anything, if you crying, if you happy, if you confused, if you feel excited like regardless of what's going on in your life they riding right next to you no matter what they're not gonna let no relationship come between y'all connection they're not gonna let no ups no downs no clowns and no frowns come in between y'all fucking connection and your fucking partner your soul team your ride or dies they ain't gonna let you lose and they gonna let you lose yourself in a situation you understand? So again, teamwork will give you better results. Find trustworthy people to partner with. Build up a talented support team. All right? All right? So, let's do like I did for the other ones. Since I don't, I guess I found me a new way to do my readings, you know. Let's find out what type of information we got for the single Capricorns. Ooh! It says, stop talking. Shut your mouth and listen. I feel like Spirit is trying to tell y'all single um Capricorns, like, y'all make a lot of excuses. Y'all make a lot of fucking excuses. And I feel like people are tired of hearing you fucking talk, you know? Especially if you offer some, I need to be free to make mistakes. It's the root to my creativity and change. People is just like, Sh shut the fuck up. I honestly feel like deep in my stomach, like your friends and your family, they are sick of your shit. And it's like their energy is telling me to let you know no one is asking you to be a perfectionist. Who asked you to be a perfectionist? I feel like you've been being very defensive and very cold. And I feel like you been, you be, it's for the couples. You fucked up. Yeah, it's your fault. Say this out loud. I'm sorry. I feel like. <sighs> Hmm. Give me some additional guidance and you fucked up. Because I feel like this person that you dinner with, like you fucked up. You see what I'm saying? Like I feel like you fucked up and selecting and dealing with this person. Sit back and relax. Oral love is in your future. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. And say sit back and relax. All love is in your future. So what I'm getting. <laughs> uh, okay. So. And then. Oh my goodness. The next card off of the top is go solo. 
time alone equals happiness together. Oh Lord, hold on you guys. Hello. Anyway, I'm sorry, you guys. So, what I'm getting, God wants you to surround yourself by a strong soul group. You need to build you a strong soul group that's going to ride with you no matter what. And at the same time, God wants you to shut the fuck up and actually listen to people and stop being so defensive and running your fucking mouth all the damn time. This motherfucker said, stop talking, shut your mouth and damn listen. So I'm going to take that for the singles and for the goddamn not, not single um Capricorns. So in this, you fucked up. Yeah, it's your fault. Say it out loud. I'm sorry. This, I feel like you might have to, like, finally, like, this partnership right here that's in the middle, you might have to, like, come to your soul group, your soul team, and be like, yeah, I fucked up. Like, yeah, I fucked up. You know? And it says sit back, relax. Oral love is in your future. What I'm taking about that, I feel like... You coming to them and telling them, yeah, I fucked up, you know what I'm saying, and I'm sorry, I feel like you're preparing yourself for a hard punch, and I feel like you need to sit back and relax, because oral love is coming in your future, like, you think that these people are going to come at you as harshly as you've been coming at them recently, and they're really not, I feel like they're going to give you a lot of verbal love and confirmation that, you know, you need to go solo. That maybe some time alone by yourself will bring you more happiness. You know what I'm saying? It'll bring you more happiness. Either together in your relationship. It's just like, listen, maybe you y'all need to separate and y'all need to figure out if y'all better together or better apart or something like that. And I feel like you're getting to a point where you already feel that anyway because... I feel like whatever relationship that y'all are dealing with, Capricorn, I feel like there is some level of toxicity. Be and there's no love there. There's really no connection of love there. So I feel like you may be holding on to something because it's predictable, because it's comfortable. You know what I'm saying? And not necessarily because it's good for you. And I feel like you've been just been very defensive. <gasps> I feel like you've been very defensive. Thinking people want you to be a perfectionist. There ain't nobody asking you that. Just people just asking you to shut up and listen. So you can. I feel like you're, you've been repeating a cycle over and over. Please give me guidance for singles. Um, you've been repeating a cycle over and over and over again. And it's like God's going to make you keep repeating it until you get it. Stop talking. I feel like stop talking and just, you know, open up your heart and share the love that people are giving to you. I feel like the people that love you, you don't love them and you don't know how to share the love to them. But the people that don't love you, those are the ones that you chase after. And you try to look for a true offering to them. And that's what, that's what blocks your offering. So you see what I'm saying? That's what blocks it daydreams and decisions so there we go about you know you being in this illusional state this illusional addictive state so daydreams and decisions you need to share the love with the people that are really trying to help you and stop being so defensive with them um couples um and stop being so defensive with them. And I feel like you need to, since you want to be in this illusional state all the time, sit back and just meditate and really think about what it is or where you want to go in life. And what it is that you need to do to break these fears, these illusions and these addictions that's keeping you from your true um, off offerings. So that you can be more abundant and happy and joyful, you know. And you need to make some decisions. And not only that, when you're making decisions, you need to make the decisions to truly trust yourself. But also that you need to you need to stop hanging around toxic people, friend, family, foe, or anybody. Relationship, anybody.
for the couples trust ground yourself in trust and choose your battles choose your battles I feel like this situation and I see the zero right here. I, I, I'm feeling like to tell you to trust nobody and go off of your faith and your intuition. Go off of your intuition and choose your damn battles. Withdraw. Okay? Contemplate. Seek inner knowledge, inner, inner wisdom. Tap into your spirituality. You understand? Your crown chakra. Getting some understanding. All right? Crown chakra. I feel like you need to face a demon here. You need to face something and you need to choose your battles. If this person really don't love you, why are you battling? Why are you, what are you fighting for? What are you fighting for? What are you fighting for? You need to partner up with people that really love you, that really care about you. You know, that keep you in your highest of all high energy. Do you feel me? You need to share the love with people that are sharing it with you. Singles. Capricorn. That's a lot. And here, here go this fool outside. Okay, Capricorn, where were we? So, for the singles, this is the High Priestess in reverse. I feel like right now, you guys... For some reason, y'all feel y'all feel weak and y'all just feel powerless right now. I feel like this person is looking at their self in the mirror and their reflection that they see staring back at them is a little bit different than the person that they thought that they were, you know. And I feel like it's time for you to use your powers for good. I feel like... In this way, like, pop, I feel like a, a sneaky behavior and just like an unsavory behavior that maybe that you've just been partaking in uh, as of the recent, that it's, it's weakened you. And I feel like you, you, you've been having a hard time facing the reflection and really seeing the mistakes that you've made and the things that you've done and... How you kind of need to change the energy so that you like the reflection that you see when you look at yourself in the mirror. Do you you feel what I'm saying? Like you need to share the love to the people that actually love you. And it's time for you to daydream and like really think about the things that you, you know, you really need to think and make some decisions. This is the king of wands here. All right. You have like a... a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, male possibly um, in your life that's a little bit older. Um, I feel like this person is very balanced. This person is very action oriented. And even though this person might be older and I don't necessarily feel like you're as attracted to this person as you have been to the people in your past for whatever reason. But typically, you know, uh, King of Wands is a very attractive man. But I just feel like this man is a little bit older than maybe the people that you're used to, you know, in this deck. And um, I feel like this person means you well and is trying to show you how to balance and how to become emotionally secure. Um, and just being this Queen of Cups energy where you're just able to, like, be receptive to positive emotions and be emotionally grounded and be nurturing and giving and you know this person is trying to show you that you trying to go your own way and do things your own way and live outside society norms like I feel like you kind of have a very taboo risque kind of like way about yourself it wasn't bringing you success it wasn't bringing you the recognition that you truly wanted you know what I'm saying I feel like your reputation precedes you like almost you know like whereas though you feel like you put yourself out there for people and you feel like you're going to get acknowledged and accepted and it like backfires and it turns against you and actually your behavior and the things that you've done it upsets people more than it does help the situation and I feel like 
a lot of things that have been transpiring has been keeping you up late at night and you can't stop thinking about a lot of the things that these people have been nagging you about. You know, like these things that these people have been nagging you about. And, and, and that's why it's like, even though you're trying to put off this like hard ass exterior, like, man, y'all can't judge me, this, this, and that. I feel like when you go home late at night, you sit back in your bed and you really think about all these things that people have been saying to you. And it like haunts you because you know that it's true. And then that's why you are like bowing down on your knees and you're just talking to God like, you know... Allow me to accept the mistakes that I've made. And, you know, if I need to make a few more, like, God, please don't be mad at me, but help me. Help me. You know what I'm saying? Because I really do want the true offering that's, that's, that's promised to me. I want better for myself. And, like, you're tired of the things that these people are saying about you. You're, you're tired of people looking at you that way. And for the um, people in the relationships, it seems like y'all are having to cut. Okay. Y'all are having to cut certain people out. And it seems like y'all are having to end the foundation with the relationships in order for you guys to be financially successful in this um, Queen of Cups energy. So, it seems like you guys are going to have to cut out certain things um, that you know. You know, like the, the Queen of Swords, she knows in every sense of the fashion, what's going on, all right? And she don't deal with shit that don't want to deal with her, okay? So if you don't love me, I could easily cut you out. I ain't got to deal with you, and I ain't got no problem with being by myself. Goodbye. <laughs> Choosing her battles. Choosing her fucking battles. I'd rather focus on myself and get to my money because you know what? I'm a fucking hustler. One thing about a Capricorn, they a motherfucking hustler. And they know how to get out there and motherfucking get it. Even if they got to be grimy about it. They'll go out there and get that shit. I know I'm successful on my own. And I know as long as I fuck get into look, As long as I focus on my family. And my house environment. And me. And what's best for me. And my children. I know I'm going to focus. And I'm going to bring in long money. Be sitting on this coin well until I'm old. But you don't want to be with me, you don't love me, that's fine. Cut your ass out. <laughs> the end of this relationship. It don't matter, you know. My kids going to be good. My family going to be good. I'm going to be good. But you're going to be moving. Somebody got to go. Somebody got to go. And I'm cool with, like, I'm... I'm Gucci. Like, I'm cool with that. Like, I'm dumbass cool with that. Clarification and love. Singles. Capricorn singles. April. True love is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at play in your love life. It's no passion. All right, so. For my singles. True love is worth waiting for. If it's somebody that you're not truly passionate about. And that you really don't like. Don't entertain it. Okay. You don't want nobody playing with you. And so you shouldn't be playing with them. If it's not somebody that you're really interested in. And even I'm going to tell you. This king of wands. You know. If you're not particularly interested in older men I like got a little big old belly or whatever you know what I'm saying if that's not your thing that could be your friend just communicate that with them only deal with people that you truly attracted to and stay optimistic about your love life I'm sorry y'all for all of these interruptions all right all right so this is for the couple partners 
Only deal with people that you're truly attracted to or people that are truly attracted to you. When people show you who they are, believe them the first time. If they show you that they falling out of love, you need to fall the fuck right out of love with them. Fuck that shit. I don't want to be nowhere where I'm not wanted. Always stay optimistic about your love life. Just because someone missed out on a great thing with you, that don't mean nothing. That don't mean that you got to stoop to their level or that you allow someone to bring you down to their damn energy. Do you understand? A wedding and true love is coming to you. Your love life is ascending higher. You know, your next situation is going to involve marriage. You know, you got to choose your battles. You have to truly choose your battles and know what is worth it, what is worth fighting for and what's not. And have a partnership with people that is always going to tell you the truth. You know, it's always going to tell you the truth and have the best interest in heart in regards to you. Have patience. Patience. Your twin flame, the one that truly is meant for you, is coming. You have to go through the lessons that you need to learn. And your true offering is coming to you. Your true divine partner is coming to you. Alright? And you're going to be able to feel this in every dimension. Your energy is going to change around you. Blessings. And true abundance is going to open up to you. And you're going to feel this energy changing. And you're going to know that this person is coming to you. You have to come to understanding. Right now, you are still working through that. You understand? You have to go through your process. You have to release these fears, these illusions, and these addictions that are keeping you from your true offering. May you relax into the plan that God has set forth for you. For you trusting that the next steps will be shown okay God is going to use you love you and use you for the highest of all good all right you alone need to come to this understanding and you you need to work with God through this I know that you might be going through a, a, a moment of abandonment you know you feel abandoned by this person because they don't love you. And I feel like you always thinking back to the past and this sense of nostalgia that you run and you chase, you chase this. You understand? But I feel like you need to hold on. You know, I feel like you, you, you try to hold on to a toxic love situation. The winter. The winter. Divine Feminine. I feel like this this winter you really stepped into for the for the couple partners. You really stepped into your divine feminine energy. I feel like y'all grooming, y'all blossom. Recognition. It's about recognition. It's about recognition. It's about you recognizing that you are a divine feminine. And that you need to respect yourself is that, carry yourself is that, so that you can get that same energy back to you. And only deal with people that truly love you and is going to recognize you as the true divine feminine that you are. And I feel like that's what you went through this winter. That's what you went through this winter. And that's what made you stand up and say, you know what, well, fuck that. You don't love me, bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you and your mama and all of y'all. And yeah, you know what? I did fuck up even getting involved with you. Yeah, it's my fault. And I'm going to say it. I'm sorry. I'm going to say it. I'm sorry. I feel like you want to come to your soul group. But like, yeah, I fucked up. I fucked up. You know? I got to trust my intuition. And I had to choose my battles wisely. And I, and I chose to go solo. I go solo from state to state. I go solo from state to state. All these bitch niggas, they gonna hate. They gonna have to hate. It's okay. I'm reloading. Boom. So, listen, you guys. Let me give y'all one more. One more. Out the dodo. For show though. Singles. For the single Capricorns, Queen of Cups, Seven of Swords. All right. 
So you are more um, you are more emotionally alert, more emotionally wise, more emotionally mature. I think you figured out a way to better navigate these waters. And to where as though before you used to always be trying to like calm manipulate and like get over and like weasel and sneak your way out of situations. You're sneaking your way out of this situation with whoever this is, this person that you've been trying to hold this hold on to this love with, you know, like you're already not in this situation, or you might even be in this situation. Because some people be dead ass living in situations, and, and the person live with them, but they single as shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't your man. Like, you the side bitch type of shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you just the one that live with him, but the person that he with, that he love, is you're not the one that he loves. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, I feel like you need to, and I believe she, she's part... She's pointing to her mind. Do you understand? It's about the balance of heart and mind here. Being able to control your emotions. You know? And to use your wit. To find another way to maneuver your way out of this situation. You know? And another thing, stop talking. Stop running your mouth. Stop. I feel like you, 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 you be telling everybody your next move so motherfuckers be knowing how. Stop talking. Stop fucking talking. You know? Stop showing all your emotions and stuff like that. Get control of your emotions. You understand? It's time for you to step up to your boss. You hear me? For my females. And the same thing for, you know, the moon. Secrets. Is secrets going on in this relationship? The three cup, yeah, this person is most definitely cheating. Mm hmm. Whoever you're dealing with, they're cheating. You're being emotionally fulfilled elsewhere. And I do feel like someone is in a situation where they're the side bitch in their own house. Wake up. Wake up. This winter was the awakening. Oh, it was ice cold. That woke you up as a divine feminine. That's when you recognize what true love is. And it ain't this. You want to be with someone that's attracted to you. You're not going to let this bullshit not make you optimistic about love. Because you want true love. You want marriage. You want to be married. You understand? You have full understanding. And you see very clear everything that you need to see about this situation. This relationship is over. It's over. You focusing on your family. You focusing on your home foundation. You focus on your coin. Something that's going to have long success. About to sit back and relax. You know you fucked up. But it's time to go solo. Choose your battles. And trust. Divine order. Do you understand? I love you guys. I fucking love you. This has been Scorpion Reds Tarot. If this video resonated, y'all hit that like button now. Y'all make sure that y'all hit that like button. If you want to book a personal reading, go ahead and click that about tab. Hit that hyperlink. Scorpion Reds Tarot, simply book me if this video resonated and if it gave you insight and clarity. Teamwork, dream work. Stop fighting with the people that love you. Love the people that love you. Get rid of the people that ain't showing you the true love. If this video gave you insight and understand, I'm not one of these other readers that's going to pussyfoot around and give you sweet melodies and words of affection all the damn time. I'm going to tell you what you need so you can grow. And so the universe can start to show you the blessings. That's what you want. The true offerings. That's what you want. All right? Surround yourself around good people. Again, teamwork will give you better results. Find trustworthy people to partner with. Build up a talented support team. I love y'all. This video resonated. You want to give a dollar or two? Go ahead. The PayPal is in the description. I love y'all. See y'all in the mid-months. Peace.